Hey everybody, I'm here with the lovely Jacqueline Larita from the Real Housewives of New Jersey. How are you doing today? Good, this is fun. So have you ever been to a Sassy Shop Girl event before? I have, they're always fun. So I'm happy to be here tonight. And now this one is a special one because it's a fundraiser for breast cancer. Yes, her close friend, she's been through a lot and you know, anything to help out people in the community, I think you know, it's important that everybody kind of stick together and help each other out, so. All right, so now let's get to the good stuff. <laughs> so there's a lot of rumors around. You're a housewife, you're not a housewife. So now you've wrapped up filming season four? Yeah, we were done filming season four pretty much the night before the reunion. Um, the reunion, I couldn't talk about any reason why I was upset because it hadn't happened yet. So I wouldn't have been able to discuss all that. There were a lot of things going on. Um, a lot of things behind the scenes, actually. It was like a, a long buildup. Um, there were a lot of things that got me to that breaking point. I had like a little um, breakdown, if you, say, if you will. Um, I just had enough of everything. I just didn't want to be involved in anything. I just wanted to be alone. I, I just went through something. It was, it was, I have to say season four was a very hard season for me because it was a little different on camera than what was happening, the pressures I was getting off camera. And I was trying to be a good friend and trying to give my best advice and trying to do the right thing by everybody. And, and that's what I always try to do. I try to do the right thing by everybody. And you know, sometimes people don't perceive things that way. And it was really hard. I, was re I went through a really hard time with, with a lot of that. There's a lot of um, relationship shifting in season four. Um, I think by the time uh, the reunion comes out, um, a lot of it will be explained more, I think. It'll make more sense. But I think, I think the editors are going to have a tough time trying to tell that story of what was happening because they have to capture what was on camera. So I, I feel for them. <laughs> but I'm sure um, after the reunion is filmed, a lot more will be explained. Now, are you going to attend this reunion? Of course. <laughs> Were you really sick? Um, I was sick. I was really sick. Really sick. Really I sick. was really sick, but I was also fed up. It was like a double whammy kind of thing. You know, when you're sick and you just don't want to deal with anything, and I was just at that breaking point. So it was kind of a combo of things. Um, but no, I definitely will attend the fourth season reunion. There's no reason not to. This time I can actually say what I'm upset about. I don't know if they'll air it or edit it out. Who knows? But. <laughs> um, but no, I definitely will be there for a fourth season reunion, for sure. So now, is it odd talking about your life as in seasons of a TV show? <laughs> um, no, because it is the natural progression of life. It's just maybe you guys are a little behind on where we're where we are, but um, I, I, my life is an open book. I really don't hide things. I'm very open person, and I'll tell you, like I'm, I'm extremely open. I, I don't get embarrassed easy. I'm very not. Do we interview here, Adele? Um, okay. I'm not Kenneth Cole. No. Um, <laughs> Uh, no, I don't get embarrassed easy. I'm not intimidated by people at all. People, I think, have this perception that I'm this, like, you know, weak girl. I don't like to fight back. That is not me. Like, I'm the kind of girl that I pick and choose my battles, and I don't let a lot of petty things get to me. And, and if I, if the person needs special attention, or I let them have it. I'm very, like, laid back like that. I'm, I'm like, I don't fight over stupid things, but if it builds up and builds up, and I'm, and I feel taken advantage of or not appreciated or whatever. I mean, that's kind of when I, or if someone's telling a lie about me, that's when I'm kind of like, I'll tell you the truth, but it doesn't matter if you believe it or not, that's up to you, but I'm just answering your question and that's it. And I, I'm not embarrassed to put it out there because everybody's got things in their life. You know, everybody's made mistakes with their kids or their parenting. Maybe, you know, you have good days and bad days, good parenting, bad parenting, good mistakes, bad mistakes. It's just, the TV is going to pick those best aired moments and, you know, you have to expect that you're going to be judged and you judge yourself and hopefully you watch it and you learn from your own mistakes and I'm not the kind of person who's like embarrassed to make mistakes because it's like everybody, everybody does, like I don't really care. So like <laughs> I know who I am, the people around me know who I am and so that kind of stuff doesn't really get to me. So. 
Um, you know, I heard all these rumors, oh, she was intimidated to go to the reunion. No, that's so not me. Like, that wasn't the reason. I was just really fed up and everything just seemed so petty and it just didn't seem important to me because I had other things going on that that um, maybe will come out later with my own children and things. So, um, no, I, I mm -mm. <laughs> that wasn't the reason. <laughs> All right, so now I have to ask you, is it harder to deal with the other housewives or Ashley? Oh, uh, no, no, my daughter, you know, I feel bad because yes, she has that like spunky side to her that people saw, but she has a very sweet, funny side to her that I feel like people really didn't get to know her that well because, you know, they want those moments that are combative and yes, she is like that. I mean, a lot of that's my fault because the way we grew up together. And, um, but she has such a sweet, funny side to her too. People really didn't get to see that side of her. And I, Ashley and I in, in real life, like we'll go at it like that, but like a half an hour later, we're like, you wanna watch a movie? You know, we're so like, I think um, some of the, you know, I, I have to say I actually love the whole cast, so I can't really say that. And to be honest with you, I love Teresa too. And, and I think that was hard for me with Teresa because I really tried my best to be a good friend to her. And part of, to me, being a good friend to someone is being honest with them. And if they see you doing something wrong or making mistakes, they're going to tell you the truth. They're going to tell you, you know, kind of guide you and see you know, like how to help you to make your life better. And sometimes some people don't want friends like that. They want soldiers, okay? They want people to disagree with them whenever, whatever they feel. And I'm not that kind of a friend. I'm the kind of friend who will, I'll tell you the truth, but it's in your best interest because I love you. It's not because I'm trying to hurt you. It's not because I'm going against you. It's, I, I'm trying to do what's best for you. And um, some people, I, I don't think Teresa saw it that way. So that was heartbreaking for me, but you know, and there's other things that happened behind the scenes that was heartbreaking, but I <laughs> can't talk about that now, but <laughs> um, yeah, it, it was probably, you'll see when you watch the season, I think it was the hardest season for me to film. Like you'll see it in my face. I was like sad the whole season. I was just very, it was a very sad season for me. So now how have you adjusted to Ashley being out on the West Coast? Um, you know what? We've never been closer now, like honestly, because she's not living at home. She's kind of like learning some hard lessons her way, the way she wanted it and the way she needed it. <laughs> and, um, you know, she'll call me and we Skype, we FaceTime and, you know, I've gone out to see her and we have a good time together. And, you know, her 21st birthday, um, her present, I basically loaded her refrigerator and her house with like toilet paper and paper towels and cleaning supplies and food and she cried because she was so grateful to have those things it was like a luxury for her to have and she's she's learning some lessons she's she's downsized a few apartments but she's she's working and it's it's been great and I, she's learning and I feel like it's brought us closer together oh, great yeah <laughs> oh, great so Season five, you in, you out? Yeah, um, I mean, of course they have, I can't really say they haven't made any final decisions, but let's just say I haven't been told that I'm not coming back. And, you know, I mean, so that's all I'll say. Well, great. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. Appreciate it. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs>